We well, heard the man. It's time for our weekly Arkansas Alumni Association snout out segment. Forget shout out. In the Reservoir Nation, it's snout out. For that, we head back and catch up with our Drew Ammon with a special guest back at Reservoir Nation headquarters, guys. All right, AP, thanks very much with Eddie Armstrong and Eddie, a state legislator. And Eddie, just uh, your memories from your time at Arkansas. I know you graduated in 02. Well, countless memories. Uh, the University of Arkansas runs deep in my veins. Um, I'm a born, tried, and true Arkansan, um, and I carry that with me day in and day out in the legislature and for my constituents and citizens that I represent back in North Little Rock and Pulaski County. You know, there's so many things that you can reflect on during your time. How much that goes into it, the Student Alumni Association, all of their efforts? Well, the Student Alumni Association has grown tremendously since my time here on campus. And, you know, they're now up to over 2,000 members with the Student Alumni Board, several new members since creating the Student Alumni Association back in 2003. And the work that goes into preparing as a student, you don't realize it um, when you're serving in an organization like this, but you really, truly come to appreciate it. There's opportunities for the students to give tours for classes that were graduating back in the 50s and 30s and to meet people that are coming back and on bus loads to get tours of campus, to see how much it's changed, to be able to greet them when they have the Friday night events and then be able to feed them um, Saturday before the ball game. That's all student-led, and the students are proud of it. I remember my day. I was extremely proud giving tours and hearing old stories of folks walking down um, in front of Old Main and when tailgating used to go on there. Um, so it's a really exciting opportunity if you're a student here at the university and, and, and you want to look for a good service organization. It's one of the best RSOs out there. I think, you know, I served in the Associated Student Government as well, but a lot of my greatest memories were right here at the Alumni House. That's a great segue into my next question, and, and that is what the Young Alumni Award means to you. Uh -huh. You are the recipient. Part of that award is because it's given to somebody who is exceptional with public service. Was there somebody out there who was a mentor for you in terms of public service and why you got into it? Well, you know, in the household I was raised in, I, I spent a lot of days outside, and I just would explore, you know, any opportunity to belong to something that was maybe a little different than the status quo. And, um, you know, I really adapted to service at an early age, well before politics came into play. And I took to picking up trash over the weekends with friends of mine. And some of my friends thought that that was crazy, but it was really something that was ingrained in me very early on, servant leadership. And, and I take that with pride today. And so I'm thinking on this award that I've been, you know, given, I'm still kind of at a loss because you don't do what we do in the service community, expecting awards. You do it out of a sense of pride, out of a hope that you're changing a life, and um, I'm humbled and extremely grateful that the University of Arkansas, and in particular the Alumni Association, thought of me. You know, I'm a young man on a mission, and um, I, my days are, you know, not done with the work that I feel like I have to do, not only for this state, but this community here at the University of Arkansas. And so to receive this award, it just really stamps and approves the fact that, you know, if you continue to serve, if you continue to help your fellow man and woman. You just never know when the phone might ring and somebody says, hey, you've been nominated as the young alumni this year. And, uh, and, and that still just really moves inside of me to know that, hey, somebody out there thought enough to say, for what you've done, for what you continue to do, we want to recognize that. And I give all credit to my family for never stopping me. Great job with these pants. I, I just got to point these out. I mean, that, that, that is outstanding. What, what was the uh, reasoning behind choosing these pants in particular? Well, I mean, I'm a, I'm a tried and true hog. And those that know me, you know, it's a funny story. I know kind of going on, but um, there was a particular game back in the um, 90s when we beat Tennessee by um, the same score that we lost to them a year ago to, and that year before we could have went to the national championship, and on a particular Sunday, I'm on the front page of the Democrat Gazette with my t-shirt off, <laughs> standing over our quarterback. Now, looking back, that's a little embarrassing, but as a, as a, as a Razorback, that was my stamp of approval that I was sincerely going to be a Razorback forever, and so these pans are just a tribute to those days of me running around here crazy cheering for the hogs and I mean I searched high and low and luckily my sweet wife just said hey we're gonna find them and when we do you can wear them and so every game hopefully this will be a new tradition for me to root us on to victory but hey if you're out there go get you a pair of these and let's red out the stadium go hogs absolutely outstanding pants and uh, outstanding to catch up with Eddie Armstrong great to be so much with you. that's Eddie Armstrong AP let's send it back to you 
You gotta love the attitude, you gotta love the work ethic, and you gotta love the pants. Good job, Drew. Good job, Eddie, on that segment. If you haven't looked into the Arkansas Alumni Association, log on and check it out. It's a very worthwhile association to be a part of. All right, we're gonna hit our last commercial break. Time flies when you're having fun. I'm gonna let some hog fans with a little passion take us to commercial. Woo! 